The forwards spots are Jake Sack. No, no, Mason is not starting today. And it looks like uh, Maverick Ward will start at the center spot with Henry Zwart and Sack at forwards and Carey and Gibson, Sam Gibson at the guards. And Artis for tech inbounds to Sadowski. Sadowski to Oscathetis. Back to, over to Demers. Shot by Artis, no good. Out of bounds, Greenfield ball. So no Oscathetis, Dylan Demers, Ty Sadowski, Ryan Artis, and Ryan Bergman are starting for the Tech. And carried uh, Ward for two. Quick 2 nothing start for Greenfield, they're in a press. And Sadowski dribbling up the court. Looks like he's the point guard. He's, and we got a foul on the floor, Greenfield. Uh, I think the foul was on, was on uh, Zwart. Demers for two. And it looks like the Tech's pressing. Ward gets the ball, dribbling over to Sack. Sack takes his time up and off the glass. No good. Rebound by Artis. Over to Sadowski. Sadowski being covered by Zwart. And he travels. Good good man-to-man -man D by Zwart there. And it looks like full court press for, for the Tech. And Sack turns it over, and Ward hustles. He gets on the ground, and he gets it to. Nope, and a lot of hot potato there. Nobody wanted the ball, and out of bounds, Greenfield. And ball goes over to the Tech. And it looks like uh, Lewis Sens is in the game for for Sam Gibson. <laughs> and there, Greenfield's in a press. And Demers over to Sadowski. Over to Bergman. Bergman back to Sadowski and a turnover sends. Intercepts it, he goes in and scores. Instant offense there, Lewis, he's a very athletic kid. And the Tech gets it to Artis and kind of breaks the press here in the middle. Artis over to Demers. Demers to Oscathetis. Over to Bergman. Bergman to Artis. Carey covering him. Kick out to Oscathetis for three. Short rebound, long rebound to Ward. It's defect, deflected over to Carey. Carey to Ward. Greenfield sets it up. Zwart with the ball. He's looking inside, gets it to gets it to sack. Over to Sens. Back to Zwart. Only nine on the shot clock. Over to Sack. Sack looking to make something happen. He loses the ball to Zwart. Zwart picks it up short on the runner. Gets his own board. Back up and off the back rim. And he did, you know, he went off of, looks like he Zwart stayed with it. Tip the ball. And uh, white ball. I thought it was white ball, no? I guess it's I guess it's blue ball. Uh. <clears throat> yep, uh, referees got a little confused there. It is white ball, side out. And Carry inbounds to Zwart. Zwart. 
Over back over to Carey. Played a little give and go. Carey for three, no good. Short. Long rebound to Sadowski. Sadowski over to Artis. Artis inside to Demers. He turns it over to Carey. He's got the ball. He's going in and left hand and he missed the layup. Dort with the rebound, up and in. And a long pass deflected by Carey. They're still in the press. They get it to Demers. Demers. And it looks like we got a foul on Sens. And eighth grader Jonathan Breer enters the game. For Sack. Tech inbounds to Sadowski back over to Oscathetis. Oscathetis to Artis, back out to Sadowski. Sadowski looking to dribble, make something happen. Over to Bergman. Bergman inside to Artis, got deflected. Sadowski with the ball to Demers, missed the layup. Rebound carry. Carey looking to push. He kicks it back out, swings it over to Sens for three. Rebound. Off of uh, Carey. And Franklin Tech ball underneath the basket. And Oscathetis to Bergman. Over to Sadowski. It's a long three. And it's good. He looks like he's a good little ball player at Sadowski. Long pass from Zwart to Ward, and he turns it over. We have a six to five Greenfield lead. 3.29 left in the first. Another sluggish start to a game. JVs did the same thing. Yep. And And the ball was, Demers got the ball on the baseline, went up and went up strong at the second foul on Sens, and he's gonna go to the line for two. First free throw is no good. And Sens is out, and Brody Beard is in. And the second one's no good. Rebound Maverick Ward over to Zwart. Zwart dribbling inside to Ward. Kicks it to Carey, back to Zwart. Over to Baird, drives baseline. Kicks it back out to Zwart. Back to Baird, Baird looks inside, gets it to Breer. Breer back out to Baird, into Ward. Ward short with the jumper. Rebound to Sadowski. <laughs> and they're setting something up here. Football, a little bit of movement. Sadowski dribbling. Kicks it over to Artis. A little, almost like a little dribble handoff. Over to Bergman. Kind of running a weave here. Oscathetis has the ball. Seven on the shot clock. Looking to make a move. And he goes up and oh, it looks like a bailout there. And a foul will go to Ward, and Oscathetis will go to the line for two. First free throw, Oscathetis, no good, back iron. All right, here's the second free throw. It's up and in. Tie ball game. And a little full court pressure here by you. Ball was deflected over to, over to Jonathan Breer, back to Gibson. Gibson into, over to Baird, into Breer at the high post. Ward making a, looking to make a move. 
The ball's being swung around to carry on the baseline for three. Long, no good. Ward with a big rebound, big power dribble up and in. That's four for Maverick. Bergman looking to make, make a move on Ward. Ward def looks like he got a piece of it and got a block there. And a rebound over to Gibson. Into Breer. Breer at the foul line. Turn, shoots, back rim, no good. Rebound to Sadowski. Sadowski over to Bergman. Bergman to Oscathetis. Demers looked to set a screen. Sadowski to the basket. A little short on it. Good defense by Gibson. Rebound by Baird. Gibson over to Ward. Ward looking to make a move. Over to Carey. Keep up. A little bit of dribble. Baird makes a move on the baseline. He's up and in. That's a good move by the senior, Brody Baird. Foul on Artis. And free throw by Baird here. After a nice strong move to the basket. It's up and in. And the seniors got three. They're pressuring again. Sadowski breaks the press pretty easily. Over to Bergman for three. No good. Bergman gets his own rebound because they don't box out. Looks like Maverick Ward blocked another shot. Rebound to Greer. Gibson, little dribble. Over to Ward. Kicks it out to Baird. Baird in the beer in the Greer. Greer kicks it over to Carey. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a reach in by Oscathetis. Yeah. And that's his first. Carry inbounds to Gibson. Gibson over to Baird. Into Ward on a post. A little turnaround. Just front rim, no good. Good move, though. Just came up a little short. Greenfield 11. Franklin Tech 6. 15 seconds to go in a quarter. Greer on Bergman. Bergman back out to Sadowski. Over to Oscathetis. Demers looking to make a move. Runner in the lane. It's good. Well, after the end of the first quarter, we have uh, Greenfield 11, Franklin Tech 8. All right, we're gonna start the uh, second quarter here at Greenfield High School. Mason Meadows has checked into the game. And Avery Jacobs as well. They're in there with uh, David Carey, Jake Sack, and Henry Zort. And looks like a skip pass from Carey to Sack and a, about a 15 foot jump shot. Good. And they put the pressure on. And they're all, Greenfield's starting to swarm. Now they, with 15 seconds to go, they can start their offense. That was a little hectic for the Tech. 
Aggressive play right there. And it looks like they reset the shot clock. It should still be at one. Well, they give him an extra second. We have a 13 8 score here in the beginning part of the second. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, hey, I don't get a shot off. We got a shot clock violation. Turn over to Greenfield. All right, here we go. Mason Meadows gets the ball on the high post, makes a move. Almost turns it over. Jacob's got it. And he gets on the floor. And I think the ball, I think the ball is staying here. We have a tie-up. Jacob's got on the floor and tied it up. All right. 20 seconds on that shot clock. Greenfield retains the ball with a, with a jump ball. Zward into carry, carry back for three. Good. Tell you when he gets going, he can he can throw down about four or five three pointers in a quick time. He's all over the place. Turnover, Carey. Good hustle right there. Carey looking to score again on another three. Short. Probably should have passed that one off. Meadows looking to steal the ball and he creates a foul. Oh, foul on Meadows, that's his first. Well, this is a frustrating time for these kids. There's really, it's just, you know, they're, they're playing, but there's really nothing to play for but their own personal pride because there's no tournament this year. And Gabe Tomasi in the game, and he sticks a three pointer. Freshman. And we got a turnover, travel on Greenfield. And Tech inbounds. Oh, we got a foul on Swart. Looks like his second. Gibson back in for Swart. Demers inbounds to Artis. Artis over to Sadowski. Gets a pick from Artis. And Oscathetis. To Sadowski. Sadowski looking to make a move over to Artis. Jump shot long, no good. Rebounds to Jacobs. He's giving him a few good minutes here. To, to Gibson. Over to Meadows for three. No good, long. Long rebound to Demers over to Oscathetis. Kind of pace has slowed down a little bit. Gibson jumps out on Oscathetis, turnover. Get, uh, and uh, Sack steals it in for left handed laid up. Good. Jake Sack with his second bucket of the game. He's got four. And looks like uh, Greenfield's in a full court press. Meadows up top here. And they break it and get a layup. Demers. That's his third bucket of the game. Greenfield looked a little disorganized and timeout Greenfield. Score with five minutes and five seconds to go in the second quarter. Greenfield 18, Franklin Tech 13. <laughs> oh, thanks for uh, supporting us here, Greenfield Community Television. And I'm sure the folks at home enjoy watching these games. They may not enjoy listening to me, but probably rather listen to my brother, but that's okay. Um, we, uh, 
we appreciate the, you guys for helping us out and want, you know, we getting the coverage here at uh, Greenfield High School for both the girls and boys JV and varsity games this, this home year. It's a short season. It's very difficult for these kids with, uh, you know, this pandemic and not being able to uh, play for much. You know, some kids going for personal goals and teams going, you know, having a really good, you know, squad wanting to go play in the tournament and there is, will be no tournament this year. Um, but, uh, you know, at least they, we can give them something here before they're, uh, they're off to work or college. So I uh, commend the seniors for hanging in there and continuing to play. So, all right, timeout's over. We're going to start back in, uh, looks like uh, Greenfield's basketball will be Greenfield side out. On the floor for Greenfield, Mesa Meadows, Maverick Ward, Jake Sack, David Carey, and Sam Gibson. Tomasi for the Tech with Knapp, Oskathetis, Sadowski, and Demers. They're packing it in a zone here. Uh, Gibson over to Carey for three. Long, tipped out sack, rebound to Maverick Ward, and he traveled. Well, Greenfield in a full court press here. Well, deflection, and it looks like Greenfield's going to drop back into man to man. Sadowski with the ball, being covered by Maverick Ward. Over to Oscathetis, carry on him. He's looking to make a move. Good defense inside of Demers. Up, no good. Oscathetis with a rebound. Missed. And carry with the rebound. Uh, inadvertent whistle. And Greenfield will have the ball on the side. Sack inbounds to Gibson. And Ward up, no good. And uh, rebound, long rebound to Sadowski. He's got the ball. Dribbled up the court, right side. Gets a screen. Sack jumps out and switches. Over to Oscathetis. Carry on him. Looking to make a move. Sadowski with another long three. Short. Long rebound goes to Tomasi. Over to Oscathetis, and he turns it over. And looks like uh, Breer in for Meadows. Gibson dribbles up the court over to Carey, back to Gibson. Ward inside to Breer, Breer off the back rim. Yep. Offensive rebound by Sack. And foul on to Mers, and looks like Sack will go to line for two. First free throw is good. Sack with a team high five points for Greenfield. As he pushes the lead to six, 19-13. And a second free throw for Sack. Up and good. He's got six. And Demers inbounds to Oscathetis. Uh, I think, I want to say there's no, you know, they're not just playing a man to man. And Bergman with a shot, no good, short, rebound by offensive rebound by Demers. He's up and in. And Demers with a game high, eight points. Gibson with the ball over to Sack. Cross court to, to Carey. Carey fakes, goes to the basket, got bumped, no call. And it looks like it'll stay. That's a uh, team rebound for Greenfield. And his wart's coming in the game for Gibson. And 
carry will inbound. This is Wart. Back to carry. Over to cross court to sack. Back to Wart inside the Maverick Ward. Up and in. That was good ball movement right there. That's Ward. It's third bucket. He's got six. Now they're back into a full court man, and uh, the eighth grader Breer is, is leading the charge here. Over to Artis, looking to trap. Now they're scrambling to find their man. Greenfield recovers. Artis to Demers. Demers looking to make a move, gets picked, loses the ball, steal from Zwart. Carey picks it up, back to Zwart. Over to Sack for a 15 foot jump shot, no good. It's a good shot, it's a little long on it. Rebound. Oscathetis with the ball. Carey covering him. Over to Demers. Ooh, Demers looked inside, nobody was looking. He's trying to get it to Artis. Steal by Sack, he's gonna go all the way, misses the layup. Team rebound again to go on to Greenfield. Rear to the baseline for Meadows. A little 15 foot jump shot, good. Meadows is uh, leading the charge here on a press. And Carey tried to pick it over to Bergman. <coughs> Back to Artis. Artis shoots short. It seems like uh, the Tech's getting every loose ball here. Another long rebound. Oh, Zwart couldn't get it. Over to Artis. Ooh, elbow to the face of Mason Meadows, and that's an offensive foul on Artis. And Greenfield breaks the press. Carey goes in, gets no shot on the floor, block. The foul's on Demers, that's his second. <coughs> Alex Knapp back in the game, he's gonna cover Meadows. Meadows goes right by him, in for a layup and in. I'll tell you, if he ever uh, puts, puts the work in and wants to do it, that's it's a little more motivated. That boy can be a hell of a ball player. Steal by Zord into Greer, and it looks like he took too many steps for a travel. <laughs> Underneath, Tech takes it out. Ball goes in Oscathetis. Full court pressure. Working the ball around. And stolen by Carey in the back. To Meadows. Up and in. Carey to Meadows. He's got six now. He's starting to insert himself, making himself a little bit more present here. A long pass from Oscathetis to Tomasi. He creates some contact. He's going to go to the line. And fouls on David Carey. That's his first. for his first off the back rim no good right now we got to score a Greenfield 28 Franklin Tech 15 with 16.8 seconds to go and a half Tomasi for his second free throw attempt it's good he's got four ball up the court Zwart over to Meadows Meadows goes in for a dunk, he misses it. Carey with an offensive rebound. Back to Meadows for three. Good. Meadows really had a good little spurt right there. Nine points in the second quarter for Mason Meadows. 
after sitting the whole first quarter. Not sure why, I did see him come in a little late, but I think that's maybe the reason why he didn't start, but uh, um, definitely made himself a presence there in the second quarter. And we have a halftime score of 31 to 16 Greenfield. And Greenfield outscored uh, the Franklin Tech there 20 to eight in that quarter. Uh, I think a lot of it had to do with some of the pressure that Greenfield amped up. Um, so halftime scores, uh, Mesa Meadows leads all scores with nine. Maverick Ward with six, Jake Sack with six, David Carey and Brody Beard with three, and Lewis Sins with two. On the other side, Franklin Tech, Dylan Demers with eight. Gabe Tomasi with four, Ty Sadowski with three, and Noah Oscathetis with a foul shot. He's got one. Foul trouble looks like Demers and Nardis for, for the Tech both have two, and Henry Zort and Lewis Sens with two for Greenfield. So that's your halftime statistics, and uh, you know it looks like uh, Greenfield amped up the defense in that, that second period there, and. It showed, it's still turning the ball over a little bit too much, but uh, Coach Angelo Thomas is uh, definitely uh, a little more relaxed today and just kind of looks like he just, like everybody else, just happy to see these kids out here playing, you know. And uh, of course, everybody wants to win, but that's not what we're out here for. We're out here to see the kids get a little bit of, of uh, basketball before they, they graduate and move on to other things. Seniors for Greenfield are, are Mesa Meadows, Henry Swart, Jacob Sack, Lewis Sens. And that's it. Those four guys will be, uh, so, you know, a few more games left in, in their high school career. And I don't know if I said Brody Baird, but he's also a senior. All right. We're going to start the second half, and uh, Franklin Tech has the ball inbounds. It's a 31 to 16 Greenfield lead. Artis, Bergman, Oskathetis, Sadowski, and Tomasi for the Tech. Carey, Meadows, Sack, Zwart, and Ward for Greenfield. Bergman in the corner for three, good. Good start for them. That's his first three points. Nice pass by Oskathetis, triple drive. Carry over to Sack. A little back screen for, for Carey for three. Short. Rebound by Tomasi. Sadowski has the ball. He's going to dribble up the court. Passes the Oscathetis. Tomasi looking to make a move. He turns it over. Zwart turns it. This could be a dunk. It is. Zwart to Meadows for a dunk. Greenfield still amping up the pressure. And it looks like Henry Zwart just committed a foul, his third. It's a good hard move by uh, Oscar Thetis. He'll go to line for two. And he makes the first one. Well, that's a big rebound by Meadows. Oh, and he goes to, gets it out to carry, and he goes real strong to the hoop for a layup. Greenfield in full court press. Tech being patient. You get it over to Artis. Artis in the corner, he turns it over. Trying to pass the ball to, to Demers. Greenfield ball underneath. Swart dribbling up the court. Over to Meadows for three, good. And they're back in a 
full court press. It's 38 to 20 Greenfield as Meadows has caught fire. Oscathetis goes right around Meadows, dribbles up the court. Sadowski with the ball, and I believe another foul on Swart, and that's his fourth. Good pass from Oscathetis to Demers. He just, just missed the layup amongst the trees in there. Gibson in for uh, Zwart after he committed his fourth foul. Gibson dribbling to the right side, gets it inside to Ward. He goes up, gets fouled. No good, but he's going to shoot two. And the foul will be on Demers, and that's his third. He's a pretty aggressive player. I think he's a football player. Ward in the line for two. First one, back rim, no good. Second one for Ward. It's good. And Greenfield still in the press. I'll tell you, the Tech has really done a good job with the press. Uh, Artis in the lane, and oh, up and under. It's a crafty little move for Brian Artis for his first bucket of the game. And Gibson with the ball, setting something up here. Carey wide open in the corner for three, no good. He's a little cold today, but his defensive presence has been pretty good. He's been all over the place. Sadowski up the court, over to Bergman, back to Sadowski. Looking inside to Artis, and Ward gets on the ground and gets the turnover, and we got a foul on Demers. Uh, that's his fourth foul. That's what I got, I'm not sure. Yeah, and he's gonna go to the bench, and Tomasi back in the game. Gibson in to carry back to Gibson. Gibson bring it up the court, setting something up. And we got a three second call on Greenfield. Looks like they were trying to swing it back over to the other side, but it never got there. Turnover, tech ball. And Oscathetis brings it up, gets it over to Artis, to Bergman for three, no good. Oscathetis with a rebound. Over to Sadowski. Back to Bergman. Back to Oscathetis. He's looking to make a move. No. Sadowski with the ball on the wing. He shoots over Moore. Three pointer, no good. Carry rebound. And looking up the looking to push the ball. Uh, kind of a forced pass by David there. Turnover. Back to Tech. We, uh, with four minutes and 15 seconds, it's 39-22 Greenfield. Tomasi underneath, open, goes through his hands, turnover. Greenfield ball. And in the game is Jonathan Breer. Out is Jacob Sack. And Gibson, gonna take it up the court. They're setting something up here. Gibson to Ward, Ward forced it, another turnover. Boy, they just have a tough time uh, really holding on to the ball, there's just too many turnovers. And they don't value the possession of the ball, which is can be very crucial in a basketball game. And Oscathetis was, oh, looks like it's gonna be a foul on a rebound from Meadows on Artis. That will be Ryan Artis' third foul. And Greenfield's ball underneath the basket. Oh, that's going to be a charge. Good job with Bergman stepping in on Gibson. Too much dribbling. And that is a foul. Offensive foul. 
and Beck will take it out. Greenfield still in the in press. They're being very patient with this. And it's a turnover. Gibson gets it back. Ball ends up in Carey's hand. He's dribbling. He loses the ball, gets it back, loses the ball, goes to the ground. And they we got a timeout before a jump ball. Wait, looks like Greenfield still has the ball. We got a timeout on the floor. Yeah. All right, with uh, three minutes and 20 seconds to go in the third quarter, it's 39 to 22, Greenfield. Uh, high score for Greenfield is Mason Meadows. He has 14 points right now. Maverick Ward with seven. Jake Sack with six. David Carey with five. Brody Baird and three, and uh, both Wart and Sens both have a bucket. On the other side, uh, Dylan Demers has got himself into foul trouble. He's got four fouls, but he's got eight points on the evening. Um, Gabe Tomasi off the bench with four. Uh, Ryan Bergman with three. Sadowski with three. Oscar Thetis and Artis both with two. Artis is in a little bit of foul trouble as well with, with three fouls. The only guy for Greenfield in foul trouble right now is Henry Zwart, and he's got four, so he'll be sitting for a little while. Uh, <laughs> all right, um, buzzer sounds, and uh, we'll get to action here in a second. go. Greenfield ball. Side out. Gibson in for carry. Looking to set something up. Over to Ward. Ward back to carry. Dribble drive. In the paint. Up and in. Oh, no good. Tomasi with a long rebound. Down the court. Looking to score. And he got an offensive foul on Gibson. Good hustle back. How to take the charge. It's a good move by Tomasi, though. I'll tell you, for a freshman, that's a strong move. I think that one could have uh, could have gone, easily gone the other way as well. But uh, our official called the charge. Looking to get the ball, and looks like they're trying to get the ball inside the, the Meadows, but the ball hasn't been entered in there. And balls in a high post of Breer, back to Carey. Boy, uh, Franklin Texas amped it up a little bit. Mace Meadows to the basket, up and in for two more. And the Tech, they break the press again, nice and methodically. And Sadowski over to Artis in the corner. Artis to top of the key. To Oscar Thetis. Over to Bergman, back to Artis on the baseline. Artis is going to make a move on Meadows. Meadows blocks him. It stays with the deck ball. That's just length right there and athleticism. You know, he got beat and his length made up for it. And it looks like Artis will take the ball out for the tech with four seconds on his shot clock. And Jacobson for Meadows, Baird in. On the floor for Carey. Four seconds to go on the shot clock. Sadowski takes a long three off the back rim, long rebound, Gibson. He dribbles up the court. Looks to take the ball to the basket, short. Rebound Breer, one power dribble up and under for Jonathan Breer. He's also an eighth grader, showing off his uh, skills. That's his first bucket of the game. Jacobs defending, he blocks. That was a good block by, ooh. Yep, good block by Jacobs there on Artis and good hustle by Oscar Thetis, but he threw the ball on a, uh, off the end line in Greenfield ball. Gibson up the court. 
Looks like he's getting a screen from Breer. He's going to roll a little late. Oh. And ball is tipped out by Oscar Thetis. And Baird in the inbounds to Gibson. Gibson's looking to set something up over to Jacobs. Back to Baird. Baird dribbling back to Jacobs. Looks dri dribble drive baseline. Good move by Avery Jacobs, and that's his first bucket of the game. That was a quick first step. Looks like uh, ball goes over to Tomasi for three. Yeah. And Avery, Avery got the rebound, and Artis tipped it off of, off of Avery, and it looks like tech ball. Now entering the game for the tech is Sean Turner and Dylan McLaughlin. So we got some young young kids on the court right now for both teams. Tomasi with the ball, looking to make a move. Gets it over to Artis. Artis behind the back, over to McLaughlin. Turner with the ball, dribbles. Back to McLaughlin, over to Artis. Looking to dribble drive to Turner. Turner shoots, short. Rebounding Jacobs to Gibson. Up the court to Sack. Dribbles to Gibson. Over to Gibson for three. No good. Rebound, no. Good hustle by Breer. Sadowski dribbling up the court. Looking to make a move. Oh, that was a good little move. He's quick. Yep. Foul on Sack, and Sadowski will go to line for two. That's Jake's first foul. And Sadowski's first free throw is good. He's got four as the players enter the lane. New MIA rule, COVID rule. First free throw, nobody's in the lane. Second free throw, long. Rebound to Sadowski, it's definitely an advantage to the, those long rebounds are advantage to the the shooting team. And Sadowski misses the, the jump shot, rebound by Gibson. And that is the end of the third quarter. We have Greenfield, 45, Franklin Tech, 23. Uh, I think as I said in the last time out, we had some foul trouble for both teams. Uh, Dylan Demers with four fouls. He has a team high eight points for the Franklin Tech. Ryan Artis with three fouls, been playing with three fouls. He's one of their few big men, so I think, uh, uh, I think I believe it's his father that's the coach. He's, uh, he's just kind of stuck with him and trusting that he won't pick up that fourth. Um, Henry Zort for Greenfield has got four fouls and um, probably see some action in this quarter. But, uh, uh, Mason Meadows has really, uh, you know, last two quarters has, has made his presence felt. Did not see action in the first quarter, but has a team high 16 points, game high 16 points uh, scored in the last two quarters. Um, no other Greenfield or Tech player in double figures at this time. All right, and uh, final quarter here, Carl's Nichols Gymnasium here at the campus of Greenfield High School. Once again, I want to thank Greenfield Community Television for doing this for the Greenfield area, helping us out, giving the folks at home a chance to watch their kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, siblings, because very few people are allowed in the gym due to the COVID regulations.
All right, Greenfield inbounds and resort back in a game like I had mentioned. He throws it over to Meadows. Meadows looking to get the ball inside. They're swinging the ball around. Sends back in the game. Back over to Sends with a nice pass to Ward who swings the ball around and gets a layup. <coughs> He has nine for the game. Turner inside to McLaughlin, looking to score, gets the ball blocked. Looks like a, a team block right there with uh, Ward and Sens. Good ball fake by Meadows, going up and under and scores. He's got 18. And he's probably got six inches on anybody on the court right now. Now oh, Sadowski goes to the basket. Good re misses, good rebound by Artis. Misses the ball. Rebound by Lewis Sands. And Henry will turn Zort will turn the ball over. Tomasi with a steal. Sadowski ends up with the ball over to Tomasi. Tomasi looking to make a move on the baseline. And it's a little hand check on Maverick Ward. That's his second foul. It's a good strong move by Tomasi. Side out, tech, artist will inbounds. He'll inbounds it to Sean Turner. Turner over to Dylan McCoughlin. McCoughlin over to Artis. Oop, Sadowski gets the ball, looking to make a move, and he's fouled by Meadows. Oh, Sideline out again, Tech. That's the sixth team foul on. The home team here in Greenfield. Artis is looking to get the ball in. Nobody open. He gets it into Sean Turner in the backcourt to Sadowski. Covered by Zwart. And he goes to the basket. And Zwart just picked up his fifth foul. I'm not sure if he fouled right there, but that is what it is. And he got beat to the basket, went straight up, and the ref felt like it was a foul. Sadowski to the line for two. It's good. He's very aggressive, real quick, and uh, can handle the ball. Players back in the lane. Sadowski up and good for another one. He's got six on the evening. Carey bringing the ball up the court over to Gibson. Gibson inside to Ward. Ward catches a tough pass and scores. That's 11 for him. He's now in double digits. Timeout tech. And with six minutes and 18 seconds to go, 51 to 25, Greenfield. Well, the uh, Greenfield girls are over at the Franklin Tech tonight playing uh, the Tech girls. We don't have an update on it, but I do, I do know that uh, they travel on opposite, on the same days we, we travel into the other, other gymnasium. And I know when the Greenfield High School boys went to Athol, the girls Athol team was here at Greenfield High School. So it, uh, it's a short season. It's going to be quick. It's going to be over before these young student athletes know. And, uh, you know, we'll be on to uh, different pastures, college, hopefully, or a, or a job, or, you know, maybe uh, some of these kid, kids could be future coaches. Who knows? You never know. All right, back to the action here. And uh, the Tech will have the ball. Gabe Tomasi is going to take it out. He's in bounds to Sadowski. Same five on the court for both teams. Sadowski dribbles, gets it blocked by Carey that time. Uh, that was just uh, Carey's athleticism and length right there over Sadowski. Gibson dribbling, looking over to Meadows. Oh, what a pass inside to Gibson. He doesn't even look to shoot. Meadows gets the ball back up top. Gibson shoots a long three, good. Didn't want to shoot the two underneath the basket, but takes a contested three and makes it nothing but net. Yes, yeah. Oh, Meadows with a deflection. Uh, and it looks like a backcourt on Tech. 
it's good uh, good activity by Mason. Gets a little deflection and uh, the Tech gets the ball and he creates a bad play. Jonathan Breer in the game. He's going to go in for Lewis Sens. Uh, they're going big. They got the three bigs in the game right now with uh, Gibson and Carey. I'm going to go UMass 4. Is the play called by Coach Angelo Thomas? Looks like it's a lot of, a lot of passing and cutting. Gibson's dribbling. Maverick Ward looks to go to the basket, and he's fouled by Tomasi. That's his second. And they're not in the bonus yet. Side out Greenfield. Inbounds to Breer, he misses the layup, gets fouled underneath by Sean Turner. That'll be his first foul, and uh, the eighth grader, Jonathan Breer, will head to the line for two. And he makes the first one. Looks like a, a mass substitution for Franklin Tech. We'll have five new players on the court. In for the first time is Robert Bevel, along with Bergman, Oscar Thetis, Demers, and Knapp. That's the new five for the Tech. Avery Jacobs back in the game for Greenfield, in for Mason Meadows, and Brody Baird in for David Carey. And here we go. Demers with the ball, back in the game. Hit a lengthy sit on the bench because of his foul trouble, but he's back on the game, looking to make something happen. Bergman inside, and we got a kick ball on Sam Gibson. And Sen's back in the game for Ward. Ball's inbounded to Demers, over to Oscar Thetis, bared on him. Looking to use the screen from Demers. And good defense by Baird there. Demers with the ball, he's going to the basket, and looks like a, well, it was, looked like a, from here a clean block with, from Avery Jacobs, but referee Glenn Mallett said it wasn't. And Ryan, I'm sorry, Dylan Demers, on the line for two. First one's no good. And second one. Rebound, no good. Avery Jacobs with the rebound. <coughs> Baird over to Jacobs, looking inside to Greer, kicks it out to Sens, long three, no good. Rebound to Bergman. Over to Oscar Thetis. 4.30 to go in the game. Scores 56 to 25 Greenfield. You can't fault the effort from this tech team. They certainly play with a lot of energy. And Demers to the basket. Foul on Sens, and he'll go to the line for two more. This one's long, no good. Ball got away from referee Glenn Mallett. He had to go get it. <laughs> Second one's good for Dylan. He's got a team high nine. Nine points for Franklin Tech. Set himself a good little offensive ball game today. Oh, sends, turns it over. <clears throat> good hustle by Jacobs to try to save it, but it's a turnover, tech ball. And, and Oscar Thetis with the ball, bared on him. Digging in, looking to get a screen, nope. Doesn't take the screen, Demers looking to put his head down and go to the basket, up, no good. Jacobs with another rebound. 
pretty active. He wants to take the ball up the court. Passes over to Baird. And oh, what a move right there. Gibson uses the big man, Jonathan Breer. And scores. Rebound to Gibson, or I'm sorry, uh, Jacobs again. Gibson looking to score again. Long rebound, Breer missed the layup. Fighting for the ball again. Doesn't get it. Rebound, long rebound, Gibson. Loose ball, Oscathitas comes up with it. Oh, the ball is all over the place and everybody's all over the place. And we got a jump ball and looks like uh, the Tech will take possession. 2.55 to go, 58 to 26, Greenfield. Timeout on the floor. You know, it looks like they had a little brief discussion about the masks. The kids are uh, masks are falling down, and and they, you know, want to keep everybody safe and just play by the rules. You got to keep that mask up over the nose. So, you know, the uh, referee Glenn Mal had a discussion with both sides. I'm not sure if this is the reason for the timeout, but uh, this is definitely a it's a definitely a teaching moment for these young gentlemen. We gotta stay safe. We're almost, we'll, we'll get out of this eventually. We're just done with this pandemic. And I'd say, uh, I don't think we'll ever be done with it, but we'll, we'll get it under control a little bit here, hopefully within the next six months or so. All right, we're back to the action. Two, let's see, how much time we got left there? Clock. All right. Drag the, the clock starter. All right, we're good. All right, they reset the clock. Good, fantastic. All right. Looks like Oscar Thetis went to the basket, tried to do a reverse layup, but he came up short and sends with a rebound over to Gibson. Gibson looking to make a move. Little dipsy do in the lane. They don't know where the ball is, and they're going to give it to the tech. So. All right, 2.15 to go, 58-26, Greenfield. And, ooh, Sands goes for the steals and, and, and doesn't get the steal, and Demers takes the ball to the basket for his 11th point of the game. <coughs> Jacobs looking to get the ball inside to Greer. The ball was kicked. And we got some subs on the tech side here. Tomasi back in the game. McLaughlin, Sadowski. Greer, oh, looking to get the ball to Greer, and it stays. Tomasi helped, knocked it out of bounds. Stays Greenfield ball, side out. <laughs> and Sens gets the ball into Greer. He kicks it back out to Avery Jacobs and he dribbles, shoots, just missed. Rebound, Tech over to Tomasi for three, it's good. He's got seven, he's had a nice little game off the bench for Franklin County Tech. Gibson goes to the basket, misses the layup. 
Rebound and nap over to Sadowski. Sadowski looks to make something happen, gets stuffed by Breer. Ball kicks out to McLaughlin, over to Knapp. Bevel with the ball to Sadowski, back inside to Knapp. Turnaround jumper off the backboard, no good. Breer with the rebound. It's good defensive effort there by Jonathan. And a nice box out and rebound. Ball goes over to Beard, Baird, over to Jacobs for three. Good. You know, I tell you, Avery has had a pretty good game today for himself off the bench. He's got five now. Hustled. Got some loose balls, some rebounds. Sadowski over to McLaughlin for a long three. Off the backboard, no good. And it looks like there's going to be a foul on Gibson. And Tomasi will go to the line. 16 seconds to go. 61-31, Greenfield. Tomasi on the line for two. First one is no good. Second one is no good. Rebound to Jacobs, up high for it. And Greenfield will just run the clock out. Well, the final score, Greenfield 61, Franklin Tech 31. Well, that'll wrap it up for today. Like I said, 61-31, Greenfield over to Franklin County Tech. Be with you shortly with the totals. All right. Um, All right, here we go. Here comes the totals for uh, for the game. Like I said, finals 61-31. Uh, game high for Greenfield. Mason Meadows with 18 points. Maverick Ward with 11. And uh, next would be Jake Sack with six points. Avery Jacobs, David Carey, and Sam Gibson all with five. Jonathan Breer and Brody Baird with three. And Lewis Sens and Henry Zwart with two. That, my friends, means that every single Greenfield player was in the scoring column, which is nice to see. Uh, and for the Tech, game, uh, team high for the Tech is Dylan Demers with 11. Gabe Tomasi off the bench with seven. Ty Sadowski with six. Uh, Ryan Bergman with three, and Noah Oscathetis and Ryan Artis both with two. And that'll wrap it up here from Carl Nichols Gymnasium. Once again, I want to say thank you to the Greenfield Community Television for all their efforts. And everybody stay safe and healthy, and have a good night.